So unfortunately, I think a lot of the value of what Cardano provides is unfortunately lost in the space. You know, ADA just gets grouped in with, with all these other uh, tokens in crypto. The Cardano blockchain gets grouped in with all of their blockchains. But unfortunately, people miss how big this movement actually is. That Cardano is doing much more than other blockchains in the space. I'm Luxide. Welcome to the channel. If you guys are new or haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell again. It's free to do. We'll keep you updated anytime there's new content live here on the channel. So unfortunately, most of the people in this space, they, they just pay attention to the retail things, right? Meme coins, NFT, some cool AI projects, some some DeFi projects building in the space. That's that's all awesome, right? That that helps drive adoption currently. That's what most retail users like you and me are focused on. But the problem is, is that there are so many rinse and repeat blockchains when it comes to that in the space that it's become a jumbled mess. That's why you see people bouncing now from chain to chain to chain. Where is the liquidity entering now, right? But the problem is, is that those types of chains that are solving real world world problems, they're not sustainable, right? The bigger goal for Cardano is creating infrastructure that can last generations, one that really solves the real world problems. You know, excuse me, when we look at Cardano right now, you can see some of its biggest focuses are education, retail, agriculture, government, finance, healthcare. And these may seem like big quests, but it's already being done we're already seeing follow through with most of these things here, right? Education. Cardano has, has been doing education around the world for a very long period of time. Africa, Philippines, Thailand, now Argentina, right? Government, it's getting tapped by government entities throughout the world. Dubai, uh, being approached here in the US for voting systems, right? Uh, we're, now that we're getting into an era of decentralization, finance, right? Decentralized banking is a big thing. I mean, Charles Hoskinson, as far as healthcare goes, built a, built his own healthcare center. There's there's this movement that's taking place that that kind of falls on deaf ears right now. And I think that's, again, the reason why a lot of this value gets lost. Cardano is doing more than any other blockchain out there. Anyone that disagrees, they're they're not paying attention. All they're looking at is, oh, how many users are using the blockchain? Oh, what's the TVL? Oh, who's you know, where's the liquidity? Things like that, right? This, the things that right now people are, are honing in on that really are not that big of a deal in the long run, okay? Hopefully that makes sense for people. Now, eventually there will, will come this point where we see a shift in the industry, we, where we see a shift from the retail things to the tech-driven things. It may be next cycle, maybe the following one, maybe it's still a ways down the road, but slowly but surely we're going to see a tech or a shift towards tech, especially as the space becomes more saturated. Now, that brings me to this point. I've seen... Uh, people post these questions time and time again, and they ask me, you know, uh, what what big names can you you name for Cardano in terms of partnerships? What big partnerships do they have? And the problem is, is that there's a difference between big name uh, partners in name and partners in use. Okay, many of these partners here for Cardano, and not even all of them, not even close to all of them, have been even listed on this page here. But when we talk about some of these names, many of them you're not going to recognize. But the problem is, is when there is a partner that's actually utilizing a blockchain, that's building with it, that's providing education, that's actually a good thing. When you have a partner like, let's say, uh, Amazon or Google or whatever, that is just a partner in name that isn't actually doing anything, it may be a flash in the pan, but then it doesn't provide crap for the long term. That's where the huge disconnect lies. And that's, again, a big reason why I think people... They, they sleep on what's actually taking place with Cardano right now. They sleep on the ad actual adoption from the Cardano blockchain that is occurring throughout the world. Just because there's not this retail excitement or retail FOMO or, or you know, high uh, millions of users building with meme coins or things like that, they think that it's a failing project. And unfortunately, it's the complete opposite. Right now, people have paid attention to Cardano and know what's going on. We know that Cardano is in fact thriving. It is it is booming right now. Not to use a word that I used the other day, but it it is booming. Cardano is building at a rate that you're not seeing throughout the space. And when we talk about one that can really build enough and get implemented enough in worldwide infrastructure, it's Cardano. Retail will be the thing that follows. 
the fun, exciting things, don't think that they're not getting built for. Everything that's being done with the Cardano blockchain can facilitate more users, more development, more liquidity, things like that that get you and me out of bed in the morning. But the problem, the, the thing is, is that now you have the marrying of both of these things, the exciting, fun retail things now and the longevity of what the Cardano blockchain is building for the future. I appreciate you guys as always. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts on this. Let me know if you think Cardano is falling into the same thing. And uh, eventually the realization is going to come. The aha moment for the industry will happen. Appreciate you guys. Have a great day. Catch you guys in the next one. Take care.